you. Thanks for these few moments. Thanks uh, for your support of what I think is a key issue right now of our time, which we're calling the Cut Cap Balance Pledge. If uh, none of you, uh, some of you might be here that aren't familiar with it, but uh, we've got well over a hundred uh, conservative groups, Tea Party organizations, that are supporting a site that's uh, the the address is CutCapBalancePledge.com, and we're making some real progress on it. We've got uh, a lot of phone calls have been coming in to congressmen and senators. And today, we, we just came from a press conference, uh, Mike Lee was leading it, uh, where we introduced a bill uh, that will give the president what's, what he wants with a increase in the debt limit. Before you start throwing fruit at me, let me tell you the conditions. We understand, because we put the decision all so long, that America has made a lot of commitments that we have to keep, not just in paying our debts, but a lot of other commitments. And we have to accept the fact as Republicans that we need to raise the debt limit uh, at least one last time um, on our terms or it's going to be on the Democrat terms. And so what we introduced today, and Mike Lee with um, 23 uh, co-sponsors that they've gotten in just in the last day, um, and I think we can get well over 40 Republicans to co-sponsor this legislation, uh, what it does is it gives the president his increase in the debt limit, it cuts spending uh, for next year significantly, it creates a control or cap on spending program out over the 10 years that brings us to a balanced budget, and it's all contingent on the ultimate passage of a balanced budget amendment that is sent to the states. If we don't have permanent structural reform, I can guarantee you that this Congress will continue to spend until we bankrupt our country. But the good news is, is I think we've got growing momentum. We've met with a lot of House members who are interested in this. They want to make sure that the Senate conservatives are going to support this idea and that groups on the outside are these hundred groups and we've been having conference calls with them and I think most of them are in line with the idea that hey okay if we have to accept a debt limit let's try to make it the last last time let's make sure we get real cuts and let's get a permanent straitjacket on spending in Washington by giving states the chance to ratify an amendment but that's where we are and that's our strategy we want to try to get 47 uh, Republicans to co-sponsor this, and we're already at about half of our conference. Uh, and we want to go over and see if we can deliver 218 votes to John Boehner to actually pass this and send it over here. Because what we want to be able to say when the president starts trying to frighten seniors and say we're not going to pay soldiers, hey, Republicans have passed an increase in the debt limit. Now all you have to do is pass a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. So that's, that's what we're planning to do right now. I think we've got um, a real shot at doing it if we can get America behind us. And that's where you come in. We, we have got to have millions of Americans involved with this uh, website because every time an American signs up and puts in their zip code, they find out the phone numbers and emails of their congressmen and senators. They need to call an email and say, sign on to this bill. Uh, and, and join us, make this thing happen. If Republicans know that we've got Americans behind us, I think you'll see a whole lot of courage, a lot of backbone that maybe you hadn't seen in a while. So that's all I got to say, but thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. All right. Thank you.